What's going on you guys? Ethan's Mystical Child here, coming to you with a pickle card. Hope all is well with you. Hopefully when you see this, you're in good spirits and the pickle card is useful for you. The pickle card today is what money blessings are coming your way. Take what apply, leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. Yeah, so shout out to my subscribers, new or old. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, we have three pals. Pick pal one, pal two, or pal three. And I will give you... Hold on, I'll do it. Hold on. Okay, if you don't want to pick the deck, these doors, this is deck for pal one. I give these doors because some people like them. So, there's messages behind the doors. So, this is door number one. That will be door number two. That's for pound number one. For pound number two, this is the card for the deck. This is door number one, door number two, door number three. For pound number three, this will be your card. This will be one of your doors. That's another one of your doors. And that's the other door. So that's three doors. So take with a pot, leave the rest, steady on the doors or the deck, pick it. I'll see you in pile one. Okay, pile one, if you pick this deck, or if you picked, well, let's get the door with this. If you pick this door or this door, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. This reading is about what money blessings are coming your way. So take what apply, leave the rest, be open to the reading, be open to hearing some info to help you bring into your blessing, bring in your next blessings. But before we start, I'm going to get the messages off the cards because these cards have messages. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old. Shout out to the visitors. If you're a returning visitor, welcome back. Again, take what apply, leave the rest. So if you pick this door, your message is... Blessing this space, your sacred space, hold a soul to bear. Palo Santo or sage would clear the air. So, that's self-explanatory. You guys need to clear your energy. Yeah. Clearing your energy is all about a restart. It helps you re reboot the energy in your home. It reboots the energy around you. It's just a reboot. So, that's pretty cool. And I want to tell you, your timestamp is... 137 and 137 equals 11 and 11 is all about new beginnings potentials opportunities gifts inspiration so it's quite fitting that that message came out and if you pick this door your message is is healing gift runs a destined course the morning dawns our inspired source meditate under the sun so sun gazing would be good for you guys that message is self-explanatory so okay I have several questions I asked, so let's get through the questions. The first question I asked is, what blessings are coming? So what I got was the three of swords and the five of swords in reverse. So it seems like some of you guys have gone through betrayal of some kind. Some of you feel stuck behind this betrayal. It's um, hampering your abilities to move on. For some of you, you feel like there's a dark cloud following you, like your blessings are not coming in, like you don't have a lot of blessings coming in. Some of you guys could be still holding on to the betrayal of this Five of Swords right here. And with the Five of Swords, you guys, this was revealed to you. Unexpected spending came out, and then unexpected spending and expenses came out. So it says spending and then unexpected expenses. Some of you could have had unexpected um, health 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 scare I would say for some of you guys and it took you uh, a lot of money or unexpected finances that you didn't have or did have but you didn't expect to have to spend them so the blessing of that is the confusion is you're going to come out of confusion with that because clarify this was the confusion so some of you guys wasn't accepting the situation here for whatever reason it was it was like some illusions going on but what is good coming out of all of this is a new pathway with the number 35 35 could be your age 
It could be important to you as a number. But there is a new beginning coming because with the number 38 equals 8. And 8 is progression. It's about change. It's about momentum. Things speeding up for you. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. But you have to go through some transformation. And the transformation seems like some of you guys could be this mature man. Or this masculine energy. You could be a female. But with the 5 up top, the 5 up top is all about conflict. It's about change. It's about power struggles. So it's always, the number five is always bringing change. It's always a change. And then I ask to clarify what is this, this betrayal or what energy that this mature man or woman, whoever it is, need to come off of to kind of help this manifest. And it says lack of doubt. And it says new beginning, take action. So for some of you guys, you are doubting yourself when it comes to whatever this is. I don't know what a lack of doubt is there. I'm going to try to clarify it and figure it out but it says with the jupiter energy somebody here could be a pisces or somebody here could be a sagittarius but you have to be courageous it's, it's now time to go go into uncharted uncharted what i was going to say uncharted past but i want basically say your comfortability you have to come out of your comfortability because there's some transformation that needs to happen before these blessings come in Somebody here is guarded. Them, you guys being guarded for whatever reason, you guarded is is stopping this um, blessings from coming in as well. And some of you have to get more grounded and stop taking taking whatever this is, and then having a negative attitude as you just take things how they come or whatever comes, you deal with it or you just roll with the punches. You have to come out of that for whoever's resonating with this because. Whatever blessings come your way, it needs you to be very grounded. And if you're having problems with this situation and you are comfortable enough to tap into your guides, God, pray to them, talk to them, you need to seek um, divine support. And for if you are spiritual and you believe in it, there's your angels want to support you. It says, my high vibes heal the world. So again, you guys, you have to raise your vibes. A lot of people don't believe in that, but when your vibes is like low, you can't really manifest anything because money is energy, basically. And if your energy is not in the right place to manifest, it's not going to manifest. So let's see something. What is causing this doubt for power one? Whoever's resonating with this. The queen of cups in reverse. Somebody mentality. Somebody name could be Sally. Somebody mentality is kind of off. Somebody's not in a element. A queen of cups is somebody that's emotionally unbalanced. Somebody that's mentally unbalanced. Somebody that's not loving themselves. They don't show themselves love. It's like they look at themselves as a victim. Why is this queen of cups here? The star needs to heal. This energy that whoever is resonating with this, this energy needs to heal. You have to heal this energy because, again, if you don't heal this energy, you have to have more hope and inspiration. You have to really, like, know that as above, so below. But, you, you again, your mentality have to change. It seems like some of you guys, your hope and inspiration is, is waning. You don't believe that it's going to happen. It's like you're in a cloudy place or in a dark place. Clarify this star, which is Queen of Cups, in reverse. Somebody could be having some type of mood swings, but I, it's not mood swings. It's more like a mental imbalance. Like somebody could be bipolar potentially or something like that. The page of swords and the ten of cups. I forgot even why. I know why. I clarified the star and the queen of cups. Somebody attitude is getting in between a um, they ten of cups. They blessings that want to come in for you guys because the blessings is here. They want to come in, but this energy here in this card with this page of swords, this page of swords is very tyrannical. It's like very rough around the edges. It's a lot of manipulation that this um page of swords delve in. It's a lot of gossip. It's a lot of immaturity that this um page of um swords delves in. And then you have another page with the page of pentacles. So. Yeah, somebody name could be Greg here or Rita. 
Sally. Somebody name could be Greta or Hedda. Let me see something. Um, clarify this Queen of Cups in reverse with this star. It says regret, repression. So something happened in your past. And in this card, it says, I stayed guarded with you. And I regretted my soul yearns for me, but I didn't put in my soul yearns for me because I was like, that doesn't make sense when it comes to a, um, a financial reading. But some of you guys are harping on somebody in the past and you in regret, you, re you repressing your emotions. And it seems like, again, you guys are in a dark place and it have to do potentially with somebody you had a family or home with, somebody you wanted to have a commitment with or somebody you had a commitment with. On the bottom of this deck, it says secrets. And then here, it's like talking shit. So I don't know what's going on. Clarify these secrets. What is getting in the way of power one blessings? What is this? Feeling rejected, feeling lost, and feeling fragmented. I don't know what this is for you guys. You guys going to have to figure this out. Not figure it out, but you know where to, with the, how this applies in your life. Clarify this talking shit. Why power one how this is blocking power one blessings? It says assistance, spirit guides. You guys got to talk to your guides. Your guide's trying to talk to you. It's here twice. It resonates somehow. It says clean your energy and your messages are earlier. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys are under spell work. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. Um... Some of you are not going on interviews and stuff like that. You're not looking for work. But you want it to happen, but you're not looking for it. I don't, I don't this is starting to get a little, I don't know. Clarify this um, rejection, regret, and this talking shit. No, not even that. Clarify the secrets. What is the secrets here for power one that's stopping their blessings or causing, it says marriage. And it says main female. Something going on with your personal life. Something's going on with your personal life, your commitments, your obligations. That's causing your blessings from coming in. It says unexpected expenses spending. Um, clarify this unexpected spending and spending. What is going on with this power one's money? False person. There's a false person here. Then thoughts, high honor, expectation. Somebody ran away with your money? And you thinking about it? Somebody you thought that was good to invest in or good to have a deal with or good to be in a relationship with? You was expecting something, but it didn't come through? Cl Hold on for a second. Clarify this false person. The number, somebody could be born August 28th. August 25th, August 16th, or the 8th, 16th, 25th, or the 28th of any month. The initial CME could be important to you. Clarify this false person right here. Wait, somebody was, um, somebody, this, some toxic re person was revealed. Because you have the Page of Pentacles here, you have the Queen of Cups here, you have the Five of swords here and reverse that was revealed the false person and was is in reverse they were revealed yeah something is definitely going on here some of y'all got caught up in something that clarify this false is this deck in reverse somebody could have been a leo or some of y'all don't need to stand in your conviction and stand tall on what you believe in and don't budge from that have the strength to stand up for yourself, empower yourself. What is this past lack suffering? This all leads to somebody being betrayed. The past affecting the present, somebody not letting go. Past lack suffering. Then regret here. Again, you guys, I don't really know what this is because I want it to be a, a reading for money, but this seems like love. Rejection, loss, fragmented. All this is like, okay, hold on. Clarify this page of swords. Why is this page of swords here? For power one. Last messages too. 
family home came back out. This is a... Alright, somebody family life is fucking up their money. Period. It, I can't go around that. I can't go around it. it. It's just some false person. This queen of cups in reverse. Somebody could have been a Scorpio. Somebody could have been a fire sign. Somebody could have been a Virgo as well. Clarify this queen of cups in reverse in this false person. What's going on here with power number one? What secrets are being hidden with this energy? Ace of cups. Change courage. Again, some masculine energy need to learn to step into their self-worth. You need to stand into your power, learn some self-worth. It's a masculine energy here. It's a masculine energy here. Somebody needs to step into their divine masculine energy and be logical, be more assertive because you have change here. Somebody holding on to baggage. Somebody walking around with baggage. This is like the eight of wands. Somebody needs to relocate and move on. Maybe some of you guys are starting over because you were in a marriage and this person took all your money. Or they could have taken your money when it, it could have spent all the money when it comes to health issues as well. And then you have the Ace of Cups here. Somebody need to have faith with, and when it comes to love, renewed love or healing whatever this is. I don't, this is a bit much. Well, if you guys, hold on. I've got a couple of last messages for you. So the other questions that I asked for, I said, when will the blessings arrive? And it says the next full moon. If you get just, if this can get come rectify itself, the next full moon be a good time for your blessings to come in because manifestations, all of that will be, the energy will be right. The other question, oh, and then today came out, but it came in reverse. So it was like yesterday, like these, this is long due. This was supposed to happen long time ago. I also asked, how can you um, accept the blessings? And it says, true manifesting is about receiving what is of the highest good for all. So somebody, whoever this is, however this works out, if you separate separating from somebody, just make sure it's balanced for everybody. Don't try to get more or get one up on the other person. It says, when I merge my desires with faith, I can take action from place of peace rather than control. So just let, try to let control. If you're taking control of this, try to let control. Somebody got to be mature in this and have faith and take action. And behind that is the tower moment and the twin flame is behind that. Some of y'all was in a very strong relationship, a relationship that was meant to make you grow and heal your, um, your traumas within you. And that's why the sun was there when I said you need to empower yourself. The last question is, how can I show gratitude? And it says, fresh start. You, you're, you're be given. Damn, somebody don't want this to be said. How can you show gratitude? Fresh start. You're being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace the new life and open up fully to the gifts that have been given. And that's within itself what I've been trying to say. So some of you could have had a baby with this person. I don't know from this love situation. If you have gotten something from this, like and subscribe. Going off to pile two. With this divine intervention, this has been divinely broken up. It's like you have learned your lessons from this. Five and see as many things that I said that shows that you need to come out of this energy. So I'm going to pile two. Like and subscribe. Till next time. Okay, pile two. If you pick this deck, this is a brand new deck too. Or if you pick this door, this door, or this door, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully when you see this, you're in good spirits and you could get some use out of this reading. The reading is what money blessings are coming your way. Take what apply and leave the rest. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to read your messages from this door if you pick this door. It says nomad. The nomadic wanderer lies deep inside. So take a leap now. Don't crawl back inside. It's time for you to come out of your shell. Believe in yourself. If you want any money to come through, any money blessings to come through, some of you guys are sitting on businesses or skills that can create funds, but you guys are hiding yourself, and it's time to bring yourself out. If you pick this door, 
It says birth. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. So birth means new beginning. You have a new beginning coming. A door is opening up. So you have to be open for this opportunity to come your way. If you pick this door, it says three-eyed raven. A sun sh a sunrise hits upon the dew. A messenger ravens calls out the news. Prepare for the unexpected. So prepare for some unexpected news. And maybe I'm the one to tell you it. I'm not sure. Now, what we have here in regards to of what, um, what money blessings are coming your way. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Tower. And we have the Three of Cups. So for some of you guys, were some of you guys trying to work with somebody and you guys were not getting along, you weren't bump, you were bumping heads for some of you guys. It's not the three of cups is not in reverse, but it seems like there's some disharmony here because a painful ending had happened here. The tower is a uh, the universe bringing this to light, a sudden realization, something happening quick, pandemonium just happened quick. But this Queen of Wands is not happy. So it seems like you guys could be this Queen of Wands. Now I cleared a, clarified all around it. So let's get to it. It says, for one, whatever happened here with this tower, it is a karmic lesson for you. It was something for you to learn. Why you needed to learn this, I don't know. Why you needed to learn this in particular. Some of you guys need to learn to empower yourself. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. But a lot of you need to learn how to empower yourself, stand in your convictions, whatever you believe in, stand in it. If you have passions, believe in it, new creations. Some of you guys, you're the queen of wands, so you don't really need anybody to collaborate with when it comes to a business. You guys can do this all on your own. So you have to be, again, it says right here on the bottom, it says open. Can you see it? It's kind of, it says receive and open. So you guys need to be open and re um, to, to receive your blessings. And some of you guys are getting messages in your dreams and you guys are disregarding your dreams. The um, North Node is here with the cosmic being. Some of you are cosmic. Some of you, this is your p purpose in life to help out the collective. But this is a card of evolution and fate as well and karmic lessons and finding self. So it's two cards here about finding yourself. And believe in yourself. The sun, the empowerment, and this card. And then the ace of wands. The ace of wands is all about having um, belief in yourself. Having confidence in yourself. Now, what happened with these three of cups? I don't know. It's going to make sense to you. It really don't make sense to me. Because with the ten of wands and the three of cups. with Which is a painful ending after collaboration. It has internship. So some of you guys could have been collaborating in an internship. It says training as well. And then it has cryptocurrency. So some of you guys were new into cryptocurrency and you went into blending your money with somebody with the three of cups potentially. And you guys had a painful ending. You could have lost your money and you trying to reap re back your money for some of you guys. It says, you, it says not happy and feeling like shit. So if this is your story, you lost your money, you're not happy, you feel like shit. But some of you have massive regrets and you letting this, whatever this karmic lesson was, get in the best of you. This was just a lesson. So it's time for you to kind of like put on your boots again and, and like, you know, prepare for your next mission because there's new opportunities coming your way. But again, you have to be open to it. Over here it says past due and depth. Some of you are like really low on funds and you have to put whatever skills you have to to use. For some of you guys if you are not even with the cryptocurrency, if you're trying to collaborate with, with somebody in general, it seems like you guys are bumping heads. The will of fortune is here. And the will of fortune is here. It's like some of you guys are staying your own way. you stopping the will from turning because you won't take a leap of faith on yourself. It's like you won't be a fool and, um, you know, have a new beginning. It's like you halting your own new beginning for some of you guys with this will of fortune and, um, with this leap in reverse and with the tower and the will of fortune right here, clarifying itself. This is a real shakeup. The universe is really trying to shake you up. And when I clarified why you guys won't take a leap, it says 
The universe is always conspiring to support you, guide you, and to lead compassionately towards your highest good. And I was telling Power One, it's like you have to believe in like as above, so below, because the star came out for Power One, which meant they needed to do some healing. But when I clarified the Queen of Swords, I mean, not the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, she looked like the Queen of Swords right here because this Queen of Wands is not happy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It had background checks, so somebody didn't do uh, they do diligence on whatever this was. They didn't do any research on the, whoever they was bumping heads with, some of you guys, or whoever you was collaborating with. You didn't do no background search on them, and you just could have been friends, and you took for a grain of salt that it would work out, and it, dis it didn't work out. You guys have a decision to make right here. You could stay in this mindset, or you could leave this mindset. But it's time for you to contemplate and come and, and decide what path you want to go. If you're going to sit here... And, and wallow with the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. The Ten of Wands is a burden. So this had to be a burden for you guys. But when I said with the bumping heads, there somehow was conflict here. Was disharmony, conflict, whatever commitment here was here. Whatever commitment, contract, whatever this was, it was conflict here. It was disharmony. And it didn't end well. Somebody want forgiveness here, want to give you forgiveness. They want to speak their mind of whatever happened here. But your ancestors want you to look inside and get some introspection. Really look within yourself. So here goes the part when I said I may be giving you the bad news. Because it says bad news, divine masculine, and secrets. So some divine masculine is, is holding secrets. There's some bad news coming. Because you see how this person look on that cell phone? Some of you guys could drink coffee. Somebody could be Muslim here. Somebody's holding something here. And somebody's like hot and cold. It's like an on and off situation. They detached. Somebody here, this, that's when I said the Queen of Swords, she looked like a Queen of Swords, that's a detached energy. So you guys, if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. I'm going off to Pile 3. Okay, Pile 3, if you pick this deck, or if you pick this door, this door, or this door, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys, hope all is well. Hopefully when you see this reading, it's useful to you. And today's title is What Money Blessings Are Coming Your Way. Take what apply, leave the rest. Shout out to my subscribers, no and old. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So let's get right into your messages. If you pick this door, the message is the Odyssey. Take in the beauty of the country, land, and botany. Explore the wonders like a gypsy. Travel the Odyssey. So some of you have to, it's good for you right now to go into nature. Take in the beauty. Stop and smell the roses. Take that message for what it's worth. It says, a cure for longing. Love is happiness. A spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. So stop being complacent. Stop living in safe space. Trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The time is not yours, but the universe is at play. Have faith and breathe. So the will of fortune is at play for you. That was quite obnoxious. Yeah, so the universe is at play. This is like the will of fortune. So whatever you're trying to do, you're not going to be able to do it because the universe is at play here. So let's get into the reading. What money blessings are coming your way? Now, for some of you guys, if you're trying to team up with somebody, shout out to you guys if you've been to more than one pal. You could go to Power 2 for more um, insight on this because some 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 things going on here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Cups, and then the Chariot. If you guys are trying to collaborate with somebody and you're not having um, success with collaborating with somebody because it's not cohesive, it's best that you go out on your own with this Ace of Cups because the universe is giving you a new opportunity, a new uh, the Ace of Cups is whatever you want to emotionally invest in. And you're going to have to take control of it and have willpower and go and stay focused with this chariot and go in the right direction. Somebody here could be a Scorpio, some, I mean a Cancer. Somebody could be a Cancer twice. And somebody could be a Capricorn and a Scorpio. So a strong Scorpio, Cancer, and Capricorn. Now, if you're going through some, um, some type of... Some of you guys need to escape materialism. Let me dial back. It says shift your focus away from material and develop a healthy inner world. And that's what your little doors was telling you to have a healthy inner world. Don't worry about money right now for some of you guys. But for some of you guys, if you are unemployed 
and have bad debt and unemployed like with bad credit and stuff this is where this ace of cups come in at play some of you about to get a new job opportunity or some of you if you fighting in court with a, a baby father or a husband somebody you had a contract or with or somebody you in court with adjudication and you waiting for the money to come through it seems like you guys are gonna get this um you're gonna win this court case for some of you guys it seems like for some of you guys it had to do with a a love offer that went awry it went south you guys no more um having a romantic bond or you don't have an emotional understanding no more you guys are in court and it says judication in courthouse so some of y'all are seriously in court this is the messenger and this is like the judge and it seems like whoever is in this court case the judge is kind of leaning towards the feminine energy somebody could be born on the 30th or the 5th or the 23rd of any month the initial c m and e could be important to you but with the the 23 that equals five five equals chaos change power struggles loss but some of you guys are going to be able to work from home. Some of you are going to get a job that um, be able to work home if this is what you're trying to manifest. Because the magician is right under that. So some of you are working on that, trying to manifest that because you're very creative. And you want the freedom and to work from home. Now, somebody here is like the, three, uh, the nine of wands, a wounded warrior. You've been going through some battle with somebody. And you've been strong enough to hold on and have a lot of stamina, stamina with this insurance card. To fight this person you could be a Sagittarius or a Virgo but the courts if you're in court with somebody the courts gonna see this person true colors and this person is gonna be feeling guilty and ashamed because they're gonna know they're in the wrong clarify the true colors in regards to this court case and power three it says the will of fortune I told you the will of fortune energy is here some of you are going to get lucky. You're going to have a good fortune. It's going to, um, things are going to turn in your way. Some of you could be a Pisces. Clarify this um, Nine of Wands and this Will of Fortune with this Magician. The Ten of Wands. Somebody is going through a lot mentally. Some of you could have like a painful ending or feel like you're going through a mental breakdown. This information is more information for you in Power 2. Somebody going through betrayal, too. If you've been going through betrayal, you should go to power one and power two. Clarify this courthouse and this judication and this man. It says the temperance. You guys just need to be balanced. Some of you guys need to be balanced because you can manage your resources and, um, and your needs right now. Wisely, just create harmony within yourself. Balance, be patient, have moderation because this is going to work out for you guys. And um, for some of you guys... With this Pisces energy, a lot of you have the ability to deal with a lot of difficulties calmly in your life. So, don't worry. Some of you are going to be able to buy your new car because some of y'all looking at a new car. Y'all going to be able to buy it. Look, y'all going to have sudden success and victory. You're going to be the six of wands. People going to um, see that you're successful. They're going to support you. So, don't worry. Your blessings are coming through. So, if you've got something for this, like and subscribe. Till next time.